So that's it. The night that Greg Madden disappeared and was buried in his coffin, we were together. All night. But we can't keep it secret anymore. We have to make our alibi public. You really think the evidence can convict us? Yeah, I do. I think it can. What if they find more? You realize this could ruin your marriage. And we didn't sleep together. What do you think 30 years in prison is going to do to my marriage? And don't worry, Kendall's on board. Oh, you told her about this whole thing? Yeah, I did. She's cool about it. Even though I told her that I was falling for you? Who knows how long Mr. Slater and Miss Cooney have been having the alleged affair, but it will definitely make their murder case the trial of the year. To think the casino boss's wife, Kendall Hart Slater, came out of her almost fatal coma for this. This will kill Kendall. Ms. Cooney has been a resident of Mr. Slater's casino hotel for some time now. That is where they were spotted. If somebody has a hearty sense of humor. Yeah, you know what? It was just a, a gag mock-up that we did for an ad sampling. About as funny as the mock-up poster you made of me. I still like that one. Kendall, you okay? I sure wouldn't want to be there when Zack Slater tries to explain this to his wife. You're falling for me. Uh, I, I Zach, wait, I, just, um, just so you understand, uh, I'm telling you this, so you understand why I'm skeptical that Kendall would be willing to play the cheated on wife, even if it was to give you an alibi. She didn't say anything to me. Well, she came here and she asked me if, um, I was falling in love with you. I felt like I owed her, so I said, what if I am? Okay, look, Dixie, I'm, I, uh, I, You don't have I'm, to say anything, uh, okay, really, uh, really. It's okay, really. Please don't. I, I have, uh, laid awake at night saying to myself everything that you are probably thinking right now, right? Maybe this is just crisis bonding. You know, maybe yeah. I'm just too stressed to know what I'm feeling or thinking. Maybe we've just spent too much time together. Or maybe you're just the one person who's never judged me or let me down. I'm like in a position to, to judge anybody, so yeah. I'm... I am. And there you go again. You're just the one person in the world who knows that you can make a mistake and not ruin your life. Well, caring about me, that's, that's a mistake. I have witnesses. I don't think so. Kendall loves you. So maybe in a, another world, then, without Kendall. But you love your wife, okay? I know that. More than anything. Of course. And um, that's what probably makes you more attractive. I, I don't... But, you know, I, maybe if you feel whatever, then we shouldn't do this thing. Well, we kind of... kind of have to, right? I mean... We need an alibi. Yeah, but I, I don't want to take advantage... It's okay. Uh, we can uh, think of it as taking advantage of each other. <laughs> Right? I mean, what are the options? A fake affair with a guy that I'm crazy about or going to prison for the rest of my life? Not exactly a toss-up, is it? What choice do we have? What the hell was that? It's just some tacky gossip show. Ignore it. Speaking from experience, babe? Maybe it's not what it looked like. Doesn't look good. Y you know, they do make up stuff all the time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's pretty much impossible to computer corrupt someone's tongue down your throat. And Dixie? I mean, here he is supposed to be helping her the entire time and more like helping himself. Okay, thank you. Simone, thank you for letting us all know just how horrible this is. Well, who do we know that can kick his ass? It, it isn't true. It can't be. Oh, but it is. What do you know about Zach and Dixie? I just left the two of them in Dixie's room at the casino. 
Ouch. Or should I say the room Slater gave to her so they can shack up? You don't know that. Yes, I do, Kendall. I would rather have had my eyes gouged out with a butter knife than see it firsthand. So now the world sees too. Wait, you took that picture? Yes, I did, babe, with my trusty little camera phone. Why would you do that? I thought it was important for the world to see what Slater's been up to. And then why would you do something like messing with people's lives? What about Kendall? I have to find that. I... Wait a minute. Kendall. You deserve to know the truth more than anyone. I mean, look at you. The beautiful, devoted wife. Almost killed all that time in a coma. You just gave birth to a beautiful little boy. We've been played for fools, Kendall. You and I. Our hearts strung along while the police are, are harassing us, and all the while they're sneaking around, killing and thrilling behind everyone's backs. Oh, I can't it's gonna be to over soon enough, Kendall. There's not a chump alive that would believe that they're innocent now. Really? How about this chump right here? Me. Come on, Kendall, let's go. Last person you need right now is Hayward. That's a great idea, Kendall. Run off with Ryan. Serve up a little revenge of your own with your baby's daddy. Don't make me hurt you, David, although I would really try that. Ms. Hart, does your whoa, husband's whoa. betrayal mean the end of your marriage? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no comment. She's not answering any questions. You know what? what is no, this? no, listen to me. Actually, I do want to answer some questions. You want to find out about my marriage? Come on with me, guys. We'll find out together. Come on. It's going to be good. Please don't worry about me. Look, think about Kendall and the little boy and all the people that need you. And you think we can handle this? Well, I think we have to. They have all this evidence, blood and fingerprints, all this stuff that puts us at the scene of the crime, unless we were definitely someplace else. And without this little fairy tale, what are the odds we avoid a trial? Not good. Right. So would you for once stop thinking about my best interests? Because I know what my best interests are. They are to stay out of prison so that I can find my daughter. I know what the score is. So why don't you be the arrogant jerk everybody thinks you are and <laughs> take how I feel as a compliment, which it is, and don't worry about it. Okay? I can have my feelings without having to act on them. So we can do this, whatever it takes. Yeah. And that's it. It doesn't go any further. I'm sorry. Oh, God, please don't be. <laughs> Believe me, it's not worth it. Uh, I'm not yeah, worth it. please. You know what? You actually probably are. Because for someone as selfish as Kendall, knowing how I feel, to actually go through with this, you gotta be pretty amazing. I give her credit. Oh. You should have stayed dead! <gasps> Couldn't decide between your loser ex-boyfriend or your loser ex-husband, so you go after my husband instead? Kendall, this isn't the place. Shut up, Ryan. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? Well, I saw your tonsil hockey on TV. Thank you so much. That was lovely. I just about lost my lunch. Wait, what did you see on TV? Uh, uh, are you getting this pathetic reaction on tape? My God, this is wonderful. Come on, Dixie. We all know you've been going after Zach since you first came back to town. Help me, Zach. Help me. Please help me take off my pants. Okay, you made your point. Look, I didn't do anything. You're denying it? My God, she, she's actually denying this. You are more stupid than you look. Everyone's already seen it on TV. And obviously what they say about you is still true. You are helpless after all these years. I think that's oh, enough. You don't even try to defend her. You are great at throwing yourself at some man to save you, no matter what it does to his family or your own. No wonder they don't want you anymore. Stop, Kendall. No, I'm not going to stop. I'm just getting warmed up. Now, your son almost killed me, and you're with my husband. Now you're trying to steal my husband. You are a little whore. You want to talk about stealing husbands? Where's your best friend, Greenlee? Oh, that's right. You stole her husband to father your child. Why don't you get a shot of the man-eating slut in her natural habitat? Well, you know what? Who can blame Zach for wanting a woman of his own? How long were you going to make your own husband share you with another man? Don't go there, Dixie. No, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm going there. One man lives with you, the other one lives across the courtyard. Isn't that just a little pathetic? Okay, pathetic is your attempt to make it look like I'm doing something wrong here. You want to talk about a whore? 
Does keeping a spare man around make you feel loved, Kendall? Give you all the attention that you didn't get from your mommy? Okay. At least I didn't sink as low as to use my missing child to snare another woman's husband. Oh, that's no, enough. you yeah. use your own son to keep a man around when your husband's busy. Both of you, you're done. You're don't, done. You know what? Don't, don't touch me. Do not touch me. You are out of my life forever. I am so done with you. I never should have trusted you. This right here, this was not part of our master plan. Or, or was you kissing this tramp what, 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 what's best for me, Zach? Kind of like the blackout? Why don't I take you home? She can no, cool you know off. what? I'm going to go home right now and burn everything that you own right in front of the courtyard for the neighbors to see. I'm also changing the locks, so don't even think about showing up to beg for my forgiveness, because that's never going to happen. And our contracts? No, and void. Just like the marriage contract you tossed out when you jumped into her bed. You may as well enjoy shacking up here with your little slut while you can, because you're not going to own this casino for very long. And you will never, and I repeat, never come anywhere near my child ever again. Your settlement is you get to keep this stupid little hoe. Stupid little hoe? Why don't you look in the mirror? Why do you think your husband came to see me in the first place? OK, you know what? Oh, no, 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 Ryan, get me out of here. Get me out of here right now before we're, I kill the whole trail. Get me out of here now. Kill the OK. Was it me, or was your wife just a little too convincing? Cozy thinks I'm going to do nothing. I'm just, I'm just going to sit here like a lump and, and, and a pathetic lump and do nothing while he's all lying and cheating behind my back. No, that is not going to happen. I'm not going to let that happen. Stupid, scum-sucking, non-existent, soon-to-be ex-husband. You know what? You know what? This is what I'm going to do to his face. Mrs. Slater. Don't call me by that name. Those, those are really expensive clothes. I I'd be happy to take them to any charity. I will write a check, OK? This clothing is going to suffer a brutal, agonizing death, just like Zach is going to. I'm going to get rid of every last piece of Zach. You know what? This is what I'm going to do to his heart. His heart. His stupid, non-existent heart. OK, you know what? This is what I'm going to do to his okay, soul. Okay. All right, all right. And, and you this know what? is what I'm going to do to his And will you take my sweet boy over to my place across the, the courtyard there? Thank you very much. All right, Kimmy. That's enough. No, enough. enough. No, it'll never be enough. It'll never be enough when it comes to, when it comes to getting rid of Zach. You don't live here anymore. I mean it. Zach, you take one more step and you will never live anywhere ever again. I want to talk to you. You want? OK, you want. You lie to me, humiliate me, trash our marriage by banging Dixie the wonder slut, and then you have the nerve to walk into my home with my child a few steps away and tell me what you want? You make me sick. You make me sick. Our marriage, our marriage, our vows, you're disgusting. Explain, no, please. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything. I know exactly what went down between you and that skank. Don't you dare deny to me that you slept with her. You no, know, I slept with Dixie. And now I want you back. And Amy, what's wrong with you? Amy, you lost your stop, mind. Stop, 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 stop. stop. No, stop. stop. I'm you're on his side? Why? You're defending him? I'm not defending him. I'm on your side. All right, yours and Spike. I need you to sit Come down. Can you sit down. You get yourself all worked up. You're all red in the face. You realize you just got over a serious brain injury that almost killed you and a C-section here, all right? You're going to end up back in the ER if you keep going like this. You want him gone, you talk to me. I'll make sure he's gone. I'm not going anywhere until I talk to my wife alone. You know, there is one thing you could do that would make me feel so much better. Name it. You could break Zach's kneecaps. You know, Ryan, if you don't do it, if you don't do it, I will. I will do it. Whoa, we can solve this without breaking anybody's no, kneecaps. Scandal. Ryan, you know, Ryan, pal of mine, father of my child, man who promised you would do anything for me, I find it really deeply disturbing that you will not do me this one simple this favor. This isn't the answer, Kendall, and you know it. Can I talk to you? You know what? This doesn't seem like a very good time for you two to be talking, so why don't you just leave? I know. We can just let the hammer do the talking. Oh, thank you, Rachel. This one's Emma's favorite. I'm so glad you Hello. found it. The, the Slaters are having the fight of the century. Maybe the millennium. Uh, is, is everybody OK? Well, so far, there's no fatalities, but it's definitely uh, Armageddon. Well, this one won't oh, miss. Kevin, stop! I would like to talk to my wife alone.
Okay, fine. On one condition. Ryan takes note of my irrational state and promises to testify that I'm innocent of any potential murder that might take place. Temporary insanity. Hey, now we're alone. Now, are you really? Julie's gonna win me over? Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hi. Hi. I'm okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. in a music and movement class at the Miranda Center. Oh. Her favorite. I actually have to go pick her up soon. Two seconds and listen to me. Um, how about you? You catch any shrapnel? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm fine. You know, I just, uh, my ears are kind of ringing. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> well, screaming, yelling, flying objects can't be good. Uh, Don't no. try to pull that with me. The whole world saw you and Dixie sucking face on TV. Yeah, Kendall, um, thinks that there's another woman with Zach. You know. Is there? Looks like there is, you yeah, really but you know, she's that? just getting herself really worked up. I'm just worried about her. Right. She's going to the ER and the way she's going Right. Well, anything I can do to help? Yeah, actually, do you have a tranquilizer? <laughs> well, even if I did, I wouldn't need to put a dart in you. You seem to be taking all this like a champ. Don't well, I'm not the one getting my heart smashed. So. I don't care. You're a disgusting, pathetic hey, liar. Hey, okay, I give. Oh, your voice now, it's just us. Can't see us. Why shoot him? I'm going naked? You planned that, didn't you? Genius. Just like what you did in Dixie's hotel room. What makes you think I didn't mean every word? This plan A for affair with Dixie, I thought this was still in the theoretical realm. Like, I keep you posted, you keep me posted, and, and we only do it as a last resort. It was the plan. Okay, well then why did I turn on the TV at work, expecting to see our new fusion spot, and instead I see you fused with Dixie? Because I was in Dixie's hotel room waiting for her. Hayward showed up, and he was talking about the affair, and then Dixie walked in and had to put plan A into action. So then... Dixie was totally blindsided. Yeah. Was she also totally psyched to snag the starring role as your lover? Not as psyched as I am to be alone with my wife. too quiet in here, they're gonna think you killed me. Or that we kissed and made up. Either way, it's bad for business. Yeah. So maybe we should only do it one more time. Just once. Uh-huh. <laughs> now! All right. Now! She won't listen to me, maybe she'll listen to you. Listen to what? Zach, seriously, what do, you, what do you want me to say to the woman who fought her way back from death to spend her life with you? Because you're doing such a good job of blowing, you know, blowing the best thing that ever happened to you. So what could I possibly say? You want me to ask her to give you a second chance? Because I'm not going to do it. You're done. I'm not going to let you hurt her. I'm not going to let you near our son. I want you out of their lives. Out of their lives or out of your way? Because with me gone, I've got a clear path to Kendall. Please just tell me that this is a horrible nightmare. Ryan, because I can't do this. I can't. Come on, Kendall. I know that you love him. And the separation is killing you. And that's the downside. But the upside is that it's not going to last very long. That performance just now was unbelievable. No, I'm serious. It was, it was incredibly impressive. I mean, to think that all of that was a total fake.
fake. What's fake is an imposter posing to be my loving husband. You can stop now. Kendall, come on, the door's closed, seriously. And don't worry, when you kick Zach out, I made sure I laid into him a little bit, you know, gave the audience a show out there. Not sure what our nanny thinks she landed right smack in the middle of, but seriously, I thought I did an okay job. But you? I mean, your performance, it was unbelievable. It was Emmy-worthy. I mean, you even destroyed thousands of dollars worth of clothes here, Kendall. Okay, does, does throwing out these ridiculous theories, does this, this amuse you? No, it actually hurts me. Because I know it hurts you. If you kicked Zach out of your life, it would kill you. But I happen to know that Zach and Dixie didn't sleep together, and I also happen to know that you don't believe they did. Not for a second. If somebody asked me if Zach was capable of anything, capable of murder, I would say, absolutely yes, capable of anything. Except cheating on you. Well, it's a good thing no one asked you. When you were in your coma, Kendall, Zach sat at your side every day. Didn't move. Every day. He did whatever it took to honor your wish to bring Spike into this world safely. Yeah, except when he was off comforting Dixie. Nothing stopped him, Kendall. Nothing. Not even a SWAT team. Not a court order. Not your mother. Nothing. He would have died for you. And he still would. There is no Zach and Dixie, Kendall. There is no affair. But there is an alibi. It doesn't take a genius, Kendall, to know what comes next. Obviously a shameful admission or something like that. You see, this way, Zach and Dixie, they... They couldn't have killed Madden because the day he disappeared, they were getting it on. I have no clue what to say to that. I don't want you to say anything to that. Nothing, not a word. Because I could get called to testify. And so your words could actually end up hurting them, hurting both of them, Zach and Dixie. So, when it comes to my theory, I don't want you to nod. I don't want you to shake your head. I don't want you to blink. All I want you to do is to tell me how I can help you, how I can make your world right. You know how you can make my world right? Just keep being a great father to our son. I can do better than that. I can help sell your split with Zach. And I can show you a good time while I'm doing it. My husband takes it up with the town hussy and I'm out living it up, partying, having a great time. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, quiet alone time isn't usually your M.O. during a breakup. Do you remember? You slept with my brother to get back at me, remember that? And then you married Zach to get back at Ethan. And let's think, when you found out that Zach caused the blackout, you even proposed to me. I'm a mother now. I'm different. Well, I'm a new dad now. And I still have my old tricks and I can help you with them. Brian, I told you how you can help me. Just take care of Spike. I will. I mean, we will. Kendall, but half the world knows that I'm in love with you, right? Don't you think they'd find it a little bit odd if I didn't try to fill the void? I mean, don't you think they would think it was even odder still if you didn't let me? Uh, Ryan, no. Please, no, this is not gonna happen. No. You think that I'm gonna forget that you're in love with Zach? You said it, not me. I'm a big boy. I'll be all right, honestly. All right? If there's one thing that I know the difference, it's between reality and a con. <laughs>